All right, you guys, so we just pulled up to Ladybird Lake Trail in Austin for a run this morning. So this is a bit of a different week because we're starting something new and I'm gonna show you guys exactly kind of what we're doing. We're starting like an actual proper running program today. We have three runs this week. I already did my first run, which was an easy run. Then we have a speed workout. And then at the end of the week, we have a, I believe it's just like a, a long run. That's pretty much what we're rocking with for right now. So we're gonna honestly just kind of see how I can progress over the next several weeks. There may be a potential race coming up that we're looking at doing. So I got this other big bodybuilder Due to-, to uh, Whether Alpha Land is experiencing power outages property wide. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to go there, man. Dude, I'm gonna post this on my story. Be like, worst gym in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I so, take back what I said, best gym in the world, not anymore. Not anymore. All right, so today we are running with this big bodybuilder over here, Mr. Zach Wine. We've seen him We've seen him in a couple of workouts before, but he uh, said he wanted to come on a run today. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. I mean, I'm just getting back into it. I actually, Zach, last night I weighed in. I mean, I know it's night weight, doesn't matter, right? But 254 pounds at night. That's like kind of insane for me. I tell him anybody can weigh 250 at night. Just chug some like water. Night, chug dude. some it's water, you like, can gain like 10 pounds. Yeah, you, you take a dump in the morning, dude, it just goes back down. Bas like, basically, yeah, count. basically. So we're gonna do a little run here today. Um, I'm gonna bring him through kind of like what my what is set up on my program today. And I'm excited to see how this goes. So this is gonna be like probably the longest run that I've done yet that I've been running the past four weeks. So this is the longest run yet. We're gonna see what happens. It's a beautiful day for it though. It's like not sunny, overcast not super warm out i think it's like 72 degrees so it's like perfect for a run it's only 9 a.m so we kind of caught it at a good time as well so we're gonna try and leave the truck here and see if we don't get towed so we're gonna go run it's supposed to be a 35 minute run let's get it all right guys so we are about 17 minutes into this halfway through we just turned around a couple seconds ago so today we're doing interval runs so we have like a one minute pickup fast pace get the heart rate up and then two minutes float Super easy, bring the heart rate back down. So we have 10 rounds of that. We're actually, time to just do our, our jog now. We've been kind of like light jogging, almost like walking, trying to bring that heart rate back down. So it's so elevated, so fast. But this is gonna be good for me, honestly. What sucks is it's just rain, so there's like mud puddles everywhere. So it's just super slow. Next two minutes, so we get to 1940, and then we go one minute fast interval. This is different for me. I've never done anything like this before. I'm enjoying it. Got the view of the city right there. Boom. Zach, how are we feeling? I feel pretty good considering it's my first time running in like over a year. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, might start. Maybe I'll have to sign up for a half marathon. Who knows? You might have to do it. You may have to do it, bro. <laughs> Pick it up the pace. I can stride it out pretty good, man. All right, just wrapped up that run. So we did 35 minutes exactly on the run. The total distance was 3.16 miles. So nothing crazy. Again, I'm taking this thing slow. We had to walk a lot of the, the intervals where it was supposed to be like a float easy run for two minutes. We were supposed to, you know, keep like a super, super easy pace. But for me, my heart rate just wasn't coming down at all. So walked, you know, maybe five of those float periods intervals and uh yeah we got a really good sweat going it's like only 70 degrees out so i don't know if it's just like humid out here from the rain i'm sweating like crazy and uh yeah that's gonna wrap up the run for today so total distance was 3.16 miles like i guess that's like right around a 5k um that's what my watch told me yeah honestly felt really good those like sprint periods of the run I actually really enjoyed. I felt good, like pushing myself fast. I could breathe perfectly fine. It's just really just the heart rate and like my calves just kind of cramping up. So if you guys ever are skipping calf day, make sure you hit your calves. <laughs> it's definitely taking a toll on me. I don't know if that has any correlation at all, but my calves and my ankles are just like filled up with blood and like my feet were kind of like falling asleep a little bit. Cause I don't know if it was just kind of like restricting the blood flow, but overall good solid run. I liked that a lot, felt good. We're done with it for the day. It's 9.30 a.m. That's going to wrap it up. So, see you guys back at the apartment for the next part. We'll probably work out later. I'm actually supposed to hit legs later. So, we'll see how that goes. Fuel up, get a couple meals in my body, rehydrate, get more electrolytes in my system, tons of sodium, and then get some carbs in, replenish. Carbs, protein is gonna be the goal. Zach, what'd you think? I thought it felt good. 
Pretty good? Yeah. Not You're, bad? We're gonna do a more for sure. Not bad, yeah. It was no, three, dude, three honestly, miles yeah. for your first time out there. It's like not Probably bad. gonna be really sore tomorrow, but yeah, no, I, I enjoyed it, honestly. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, that was a good run. So, I look like a wet dog right now, but I'll see you guys back at the apartment. All right, so pretty solid post run breakfast about to go down right now. So I just downed two scoops of the VPN G1M Sport, which is uh, carbs and electrolytes. There's like 700 milligrams of sodium in that. With those two scoops, got some carbs in. For post run carbs, other than that, we have about 12 ounces of orange juice. We have a whole banana here. Uh, I have an English muffin, which has uh, pumpkin cream cheese on it. Um, so that's gonna be most of our, our carbs is the English muffin, banana, orange juice, and the G1M Sport, which should be good. Uh, and then we have three whole eggs with some pico on it, some cheese in there, three pieces of bacon, and we have a little uh, coffee over here. So this is like uh, the way Ali's grandma made coffee. Ali's grandma is Cuban, so she sent us this like little like coffee maker that makes it almost like an espresso, but not quite. It's super strong, so it's this tiny little like shot glass type cup. And it's really good though, it's really strong really good and uh yeah i've been trying that out pretty much every morning so that is the breakfast which looks pretty freaking solid i'm not gonna lie and we're probably going to just throw on a little youtube video finish this up and then we can get to work with the rest of our day give it probably like i said like five or six hours in between this run and the workout so i'm supposed to hit legs today too which seems kind of counterintuitive but i was telling zach i was like look if you can go home replenish carbs, replenish glycogen, replenish sodium, drink a lot of sodium, a ton of water, and get like maybe two or even three meals in before we come back for a leg workout. Like I guarantee you, like you're not even gonna really notice the difference. It's all about post run recovery and giving yourself enough time to replenish all of the nutrients that you need. So uh, we're probably gonna give it like at least it's 1050 right now. Um, finally getting this meal in. We're probably gonna give it till at least like three o'clock before we actually go train, which gives us another opportunity to have like another big meal after this. Keep on replenishing, keep on recovering, come back at it with, you know, full force later on. So yeah, again, solid run today. Solid post, post run recovery meal. Yeah, coming up. Never saying that I've done enough. Yeah, the road is rough, but I run it up. Uh, undercover, get a couple bucks, man. How do you feel for real? Tell me coming up. Alright guys, so just finished up my second and final set of hack squats, which absolutely kicked my ass, but it was a really, really good session. And uh, today was one of those days that like, I knew it could be a really good day. I took off from the gym yesterday, but I was feeling like a little bit sluggish before. I was feeling a little bit tired coming in here for no reason at all, like I got plenty of sleep last night. But it was just kind of like a mental, mental fog that I was in, I just needed to get myself out of it. And then once, Got moving in the gym. I decided to do squats. Um, literally last minute decision because I wasn't sure. I was like, maybe I'll just hit a proper leg day and you know forget about squats for you know a week or two, whatever. Let myself you know have a break from it. But at the last second, I was like, you know, I feel pretty good. I feel fresh. Let me try squatting. And this is the best day of squats that I've had. I haven't squatted in probably almost two weeks now. And I hit 585. It's supposed to be RP8, but those probably like RP7. Felt really good, and that's the best that has felt in a while. Sometimes. You know, you just gotta come in here, change the freaking mentality. Like even if you're having a low energy day, a down day, a bad day, whatever, just change the mentality. Come in, start moving around a little bit, start pushing some heavy weight, and guarantee you're gonna feel better. Ended up feeling way better than I expected. Hit 585 for a single, back downs 475 for four sets of four. Best squat day we had yet. Limited pain in like basically no pain in my knees, which is awesome. That's been a constant, constant thing throughout the past couple of years powerlifting, but this felt amazing. Feels like I could have done 585 for like five reps today. Sometimes you just gotta man up, get the weight done, get that movement done that you're kind of like dreading a little bit. Do it, I guarantee you're gonna feel so much better. We're gonna go 20 ounces of that, John. We're gonna go 2.5 servings of whey protein. Do a little banana in there. 
bananas, milk, OJ, chocolate milk. Yeah, and boom, that is going to be the post-workout shake. So this made almost 48 total ounces. So uh, we're gonna split this with Ali. I did two and a half scoops of the strawberry whey protein from BPN. You guys can now use code Dangler for 10% off all orders, any orders, every single time. Uh, code Dangler is 100% officially back with BPN. So if you guys have rocked with BPN before, used BPN in the past, or wanna try it out, now it's 10% off all orders going forward into the future with code Dangler. So we're using two and a half scoops of this. We're gonna split this thing directly in half. So other than that, you guys saw we put 20 ounces of milk, 2% milk. We did two servings of honey, two servings of peanut butter, a whole banana, two servings of frozen mango with the strawberry protein, so strawberry mango protein smoothie. This thing is going to be incredible. Let's try it out. Wow, that's so thick. Honestly, maybe like, it looks like some ice cream or something, dude. All right, and for the taste test. Yeah, this thing is thick as hell. It's on point. Definitely, you gotta use a protein that really goes well with like the fruit that you're using. Even the other day I was using the mixed berries, so blueberries, raspberries, strawberries frozen. Added in like milk and cookies or vanilla whey, that's gonna be really, really good for that. Or strawberry whey, either way, but this is good. So guys, with all that being said, we got our post-workout protein carb recovery right here. And basically, yeah, this video is going to be the start of the half marathon prep. Now the timeline of that prep could either be December or February, depending on when I'm going to be ready and to put up like a decent performance. The actual race is like a little over two months away. So with that being said, if I'm ready in two months, we're just gonna send it and go for it. But if not, we have plenty of time until February. So I don't know an exact race date yet. I'm trying to figure things out as we go, but I'm gonna try it and see what happens. I think there's a lot of progress to be made that can be made. So I have my friend, Matt Johnson, is gonna be helping me out, coaching me, through kind of like this running, uh, this this new kind of running phase, which is really, really cool. I'm interested to see kind of how he does everything, just learning about how to progress with my running. So, so far we're running three times per week right now, uh, and this will be really interesting. He runs 100 mile races, marathons, Ironmans, all that stuff, but me, he's programming me. I told him, I was like, look, let's start from the ground up, from the very beginning. Like I am <laughs> the most beginner stage right now. So we're running three times a week. Uh, we just did a three mile interval run. Tomorrow we have a three mile easy run. So I'm really interested to see how everything goes with this program. If you guys need help with a, a running coach at all. So far it's been, it's been really good. Only, I've only been working with him for this past week, but go hit him up if you guys need any assistance with running i'm very new to this so i need a lot of assistance with it but it should be a really really cool process to see uh, especially to see how much i can improve over the next two months to four months plus and again this isn't going to be the only goal obviously we're going to continue bulking we're going to continue trying to get stronger bigger every single day but this is just another avenue for us to kind of push down and i think it's really cool to kind of have a goal in mind for what i really want to work at so this is just the beginning so this is obviously gonna be pretty much episode number one. So excited to kind of take you guys through like the next several weeks and months uh, that we're kind of like preparing for this and and uh, improving at this. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, excited to share like the rest of this with you. And like I said, guys, like I'm, I'm trying to be completely 100% transparent and honest with you. Like I'm not in a good spot like running wise right now and that's okay, you know? And like I'm very good at powerlifting and bodybuilding and all these other things, but this is like a completely new avenue for me to push down. Honestly, I'm, I'm not the best at this, you know? And that's what I, I kind of like about it is it's like something new for me to get better at. And uh, that's kind of what we're gonna do. So I'm um, excited to see how training kind of progresses. It'll be cool now that I kind of have like a coach guiding me along the way, I can kind of show you guys what the training updates are from week to week, how mileage is changing, how overall training volume, even in my, you know, uh, bodybuilding routines and stuff like that is changing according to um, kind of how much running we have to do in a week. So it'll be really interesting to see trying to run 
and improve being at 250 plus pounds body weight. I'm excited for this. This is gonna be good. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're not already. Um, we got a fun journey ahead of us and uh, this is just the beginning. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Comment down below what kind of running type videos you guys wanna see, what kind of athletic type videos you guys wanna see. We're branching out in some different directions and uh, I'm excited for it. So you guys better get excited for it too. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Comment down below what you guys wanna see next and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.